Harris Jr. in the backfield. Lynch will take the snap. Out to the left side. Jordan's going to run it. Looking for the pile. Oh, it's got it. Touchdown, Huskies. Jordan Lynch for six. Touchdown, Northern Illinois. Hello, my name's Matt Littman. I'm Jordan Lynch. And we're here on the post-Purdue week Lunchford Lynch episode. And we're going to talk a little bit about last week's game. Let's do it, Matt. Let's do it. So, uh, you know, this is the first time in MAC history um, that a team has beat two Big Ten teams in the same season. Um, tell us what your, your thoughts are on that. Yeah, it's, um, you know, our program really has been on the rise since I came here. And any time we get a chance to play, you know, a Big Ten team, they're going to get our best shot. You know, we have chips on our shoulders and we have a bunch of kids on the team that love to play football. And, uh, you know, we went out in Purdue this week and, uh, you know, we started the fight and that's something we, you know, haven't done all season. And, you know, it's, it's things are starting to look up for this program. You know, Jimmy Ward last week said in the, in the post-press conference uh, that exactly what you said, start the fight. And it, for people who have been around this program, they've seen him take on more of a leadership role this senior year. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, Jimmy's came a long way since he came in, you know, his first year here. And, you know, he's a senior now, and I think he's starting to act like it. Um, a lot of people look up to him on the defensive side of the ball. He's actually one of our captains, and, uh, you know, he, he's came a long way, like I said, and he's one of the most mature players on this team. Speaking of comfort, um, your offensive line is, oh, yeah, sure. sure. Hey, um, just uh, on that note, uh, we've got Minxie's Bread Supply as, our, uh, as uh, one of our sponsors. Thanks, Minxie. I'll tell you what. So moist, just great bread. And uh, we also have uh, Edna's, Edna's Subaru and Car Care dealership, which is having a uh, two for one on air fresheners. And pine cones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you a pine cone guy? I prefer uh, vanilla. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, two for one, uh, just that's on uh, Bethany Road, for those who uh, are not uh, familiar with the area. So uh, anyways, get back to um, the game. You know. Your offensive line has only given up three sacks uh, this season so far. And, uh, you know, for someone who uh, likes to run the ball as much as we do, but also loves to air the ball out, um, you know, that's pretty impressive. Tell us about your offensive line. Yeah, you know, they were uh, quite young last year, and, you know, they have, a lot of them have, you know, 14 starts under their belt. And, uh, you know, just the maturity with them, they're building more chemistry with uh, one another. And, you know, they're one of the groups that watch more film than anyone on this team. So they came a long way and you know, they make my job a lot easier back there. You know, this season um, defensively, it's been a big play defense. Whether it was Idaho with um, the uh, school record in sacks or whether it was turnovers this week with uh, the team getting five turnovers to Sean Durant, had two interceptions. Uh, Jimmy Ward stepped up yet again with another big play with a pick six. You had Dom Ware who sort of iced the game and then George Rainey with a fumble recovery. You know, this defense has big play ability. And just tell us, uh, you know, how much easier does that make your job when you're getting extra possessions? Yeah, it makes a night and day difference. I remember going against our defense all summer long with seven on seven drills and, and fall camp. and. You know, those DBs and that D-line and linebackers, you know, they make my job a lot harder, you know, going against them in the fall time. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, oh, you know, we should, we should uh, incorporate some of our fans here. Um, at hashtag Ask Lynch, you're free to um, send in your questions for Jordan. Um, we're going to go on record and say, you know, feel free. We only got about 10 questions this week. We'd like to, we'd like to uh, get a few more. Please, but, not everyone at once. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, hashtag Ask Lynch ask, at JW Near. Between Volk, Luce, and Kremple, who's the best cook and who smells the worst? Whoa. Well, the best cook by far, I would have to say Matt Kremple. He's always whipping something up mm -hmm. with his concoctions. Mm -hmm. And uh, the smelliest is Jared Volk. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really know what to say about it, but he's always got B.O. and that's the truth. Tell you what, he's walked into my office a few days. Woo! Not good. Well, that's all the time we have for this week. Once again, great episode. Uh, we got to throw out one, uh, one more time, uh, Minxie's Bread Supply. Thank you again. 
wonderful breads. You should try their sweet breads. I think you'll really enjoy them. Also, we have uh, Edna's Subaru and Car Care Dealership. Uh, they have a two for one located on Bethany Road on uh, air fresheners. I obviously prefer vanilla. You? Yes, vanilla. You said pine cones earlier. <laughs> this guy, he's a salesman. Anyways, thank you so much, Lunch for Lynch. That's another episode. See you next week. First and 10, Lynch now. Little pop pass, corner of the end zone. The crowd made, he's got the touchdown. Touchdown, Huskies.